Alrighty, let's check this out. There's no sound. Let's play this and done. All right, so that is, let me check here. You're saying here first blind pass. You still have to address the ground environment updates and the head check at the end. But you are curious about the head and neck area. Actually, watching this here, there are two things that stood out. This, if you track this area, as the head goes into that, it feels just a bit even in timing. Oh, as it goes down, just that that section through there as the head goes up and then down. It's definitely, it's not poppy or anything. It's just the even timing. And there's also a slight thing of, I don't know. I don't have a fix for it right now. But just mentioning it. There's something about the rotation going up here, pivoting off here with just that barrel section going like this and the head even though the chest continues like that this goes up and the head goes down almost like a, a counter move there's something that feels slightly disconnected I know this is a very vague vague note there But just for that section, there's something just slightly off in terms of how they work together with that roll. Because the other thing is it feels like that roll is mainly just that. And I think you can push a little bit where it might even potentially come towards us. Because you can also look at this leg here goes over there to put now some pressure on there. So if you imagine starts adjusting the hips a bit. And if you look at this... There might just be a little moment of an adjustment in the hips that might propagate through to give us a little bit of forward roll in the chest. I know this is very exaggerated, not super anatomically correct, but I'm trying to find something a bit more than just that even timing and that one axis rotation in that chest. I mean, there's something where it rotates and starts to translate for extra complexity, which is cool. I'm just reacting to like this being a separate piece and this being a separate piece with a rotation this way and this going down i hope that makes sense but once you get to here i feel like whoop that gets too fast and by that i mean the head move that right there whoa right there because you have a fairly slow spacing and then suddenly really fast and then slow again and then up a bit faster and the other thing with that is that i mean it's a short distance so much you can do in terms of rotation, but it just feels like it's this IK head that Sutton translates that again kind of goes against what the body is doing. Now, I know that the head is leading this up, but what I would probably try is get away from moments like this through there, besides the sudden acceleration, where just the head doesn't have enough rotation. It just feels like this is a separate piece that just translates. And I would incorporate a bit more roll this way as it leans into this and then instead of a sudden translate you anticipate that first you lead it first with the rotation up i would personally look at bringing that nose up first so then here it's also less straight on just silhouette wise it's kind of it's just an odd look it feels all very scrunched and if you start having this uh, rotation that sooner you might have the the nose part here with just a bit more of a a perspective on uh, the length of that head that's a bit more something like this this just to me feels a bit more appealing than the straight on so get that in sooner so you really lead with the nose up uh, into that and then same thing here not look at any reference if i just look at this separately there's just a slight feeling of fairly straight line and then if you look at the distance it covers a down and also this way here suddenly it seems to just stop and goes straight up. I know it goes slightly this way, but it's just a slight feel of fast and then suddenly stop. Like that's the feeling of it. So same thing here where I would personally exaggerate and get a bit more of a rotation and the nose up and a bit of a drag. Just engaging those rotations a bit more with an arc that's just a bit more exaggerated. That's the main thing that I see, like the sudden acceleration in here and that, which that I 
feel the, the strength of it, that's fine. This feels like suddenly too fast in that hit move. But then with this one, it feels a bit too like that. Just a bit clunky in terms of the pass and not enough rotation. And giving this again this, this is a piece and this is a piece. Where as it goes up, it just feels like this is just a separate element that has no influence on this. Now that being said, I'm not, I'm going to fully admit here, I'm not a horse expert. So if you say that, well, if a horse has the head down and then brings the head up, it, there's no real chest influence there. I, I can't say yes or no. I don't know. I'll have to look at the reference again. But just right now, looking at it visually, there's just something where all that stuff feels separate. Also, in terms of steps, when you have... Like, I like that compression there, getting up. But when that, this leg goes up here, I don't feel any impact and just influence on that step and also i will try to get these how far do you it takes quite some time for that leg to straighten and this just feels odd on the horse to have bent knees like they're just very quickly going into a fairly not super curved back but a very strong position so to me it feels like when that leg goes up here bam you want to go straight very quickly which then will probably Push that chest up and that moment up here just for a little bit of a... <clears throat> that's a technical term. <clears throat> where you feel that sudden push and straightening and force on the horse legs there. Same thing here. See how far you can push this where you might even have a little bit of rotation in the, in the hips. As this pushes up, this rotates over. This might get too into fantasy land stylized, but... It's always easier to, to me at least to push those things and then scale them back just so there's a bit more flexibility and in terms of reference i don't know if that's enveloping or if that's how horses do it but this shape feels odd how it just kind of grows out there and goes back and i know it's this side here going out in terms of that angle but look look at that just that scale and look at that reference if if that's what they do or if you want to cheat it and just keep it towards camera there's just something about this feeling a bit a bit odd mainly just because of that it just feels like a geometry scale and that's that's mostly that you are mentioning here it feels a bit wobbly overall i'm not sure if it's the path it takes or the timing being off it, to me it's kind of both but i hope that makes sense all right Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.